Welcome everyone. Today we're diving into a new feature in Timescale DB chunk skipping. If you've ever struggled with slow queries in large datasets, this is for you. Timescale's hybrid row column restore already delivers excellent performance for time series data. It balances efficient writes with powerful compression for reads. Now we're taking it even further. Timescale DB's hypercore uses partition tables and partition the data into chunks using partition columns, usually the timestamp. As a real world example, imagine tracking two timestamps, event recorded and event received. The event recorded is the time when the event was recorded, and the event received is the time when the event was received by the application. With chunk skipping indexes, you get good performance even on queries using the event received even when the data is partitioned on the event recorded. This allows better query performance when using the partition column to scan data, since it allows chunks to be pruned to plan early so that less data is scanned. Previously, we only used chunk skipping for partition columns. But with chunk skipping indexes, we store the min-max values for non-partition columns as well, allowing queries to skip irrelevant chunks even if the query is not using a partition column. In testing this, chunk skipping indexes delivered up to seven times faster query performance, and this is for databases with thousands of chunks. Enabling chunk skipping is simple. All you have to do is to specify the columns you want tracked. For example, if you want to track the event recorded timestamp as well, in addition to the partition column event received, you call the function enable chunk skipping with the recorded timestamp. Keep in mind, Chunk skipping works best with ranges that are not overlapping or correlate strongly with a partition column. Chunk skipping makes large datasets more manageable, delivering faster query performance for complex use cases. They are especially useful for environments with many chunks and columns that have a strong correlation with a partition column. There are a few things to consider when you are using chunk skipping. It only works for fully compressed chunks. This is because the, because the information about the chunk is updated when the chunk is compressed. If you do not compress the chunks, it will do a full table scan for the uncompressed chunks, or it will also do a full table scan if you have to insert or change data. Try chunk skipping indexes in Timescale DB today and share your results. Check out our documentation and blog for more details.